Hello, welcome to this uh, video lecture. Mm, in this lecture, uh, we will be discussing about uh, VTC mass and uh, MTC mass. VTC mass is variable threshold uh, C mass uh, logic. This uh, variable threshold C mass logic is to uh, is used to reduce the power consumption. Now, this uh, VTC mass technique is a very effective technique for controlling the threshold voltage. Uh, whenever uh, you reduce uh, the uh, threshold voltage, uh, if threshold voltage is very less, uh, sub-threshold leakage current will be very high. You can increase the sub-threshold voltage to, to avoid uh, sub-threshold sub uh, leakage current. So, VTC mass technique is very effective technique for controlling the threshold voltage. And uh, it requires, uh, normally it requires twin well and uh, triple well. Uh, see, when it is uh, a twin well process, uh, substrate to body, uh, you can reverse bias. By reverse biasing substrate to body, uh, the depletion layer width will increase, thereby increasing the threshold voltage. That is the concept. So, by having a twin well or triple well CMOS fabrication technique, uh, you can use sub uh, you can use, uh, uh, you, you can reverse bias the substrate or the body of the mass transistor uh, to increase the threshold voltage. As the threshold voltage is increased, sub-threshold sub -threshold leakage current will be reduced. So, um, this can be, this uh, concept can be applied to various parts of the chip, various blocks of the chip. And separate power pins may also be required uh, if the substrate bias voltage levels are not generated on chip. If uh, on chip voltage uh, facility is there, no issue, otherwise we need to have a separate battery and separate voltage supply uh, to reverse bias the substrate. Usually additional area required for the substrate bias control circuitry is negligible compared to the overall chip area. Uh, normally this uh, circuitry will be having 10 to 12 transistors or uh, less than 50 say. Uh, when compared to a 10 lakh transistor chip, uh, some 20 to 50 transistors is negligible. So, it is a uh, very uh, economic uh, concept having variable threshold voltage technology for reducing the uh, sub-threshold leakage current which is dominant and considerable amount of uh, power consumption. Now, this substrate bias control circuit will be connected to the substrates of the P-mass as well as N-mass transistors in twin tub and uh, triple tub process, triple well uh, process. So this is how uh, you can uh, 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 diagrammatically represent the sub, uh, sub threshold, substrate bias control uh, circuitry. Uh, so coming to the next concept is MT, um, multiple threshold uh, CMOS technology. Previous topic was variable threshold, this is multiple threshold um, CMOS concept. This concept was developed by Muto and his uh, colleagues. Uh, this approach is uh, used for implement high speed and low power circuits. High speed, low power. Both should be uh, trade off, there should be a trade off between both of them. So, uh, circuits operating from 1 volt power supply. 1 volt power supply is very less. Normally, the typical threshold voltage value is 20% of the supply voltage, that is 0.2 VDD. That means here is the case, in this case, VDD is 1 volt and 0.2 VDD will be 0.2 volts. So, the transistors which are operating at threshold voltages like 0.2 to 0.3 uh, volts are used. So, uh, this is very less, 0.2, 0.3 volts uh, sub, uh, threshold voltage is very less, which will have large uh, sub-threshold leakage current. This sub-threshold leakage current happens when there is a power supply connection directly. Now what they were doing, uh, uh, what they are doing here is, uh, it is sleep connection is given here. Uh, in this circuit two modes are there, first mode is active mode, another mode is sleep mode. Yet consider a two input NAND gate with uh, uh, low threshold voltages, another gate with high threshold voltage. These two voltage, these two transistors are having high threshold voltage and high power supply also, uh, supply line also. Now this is uh, low threshold voltage, low, low threshold voltage circuitry is this. 
which incurs lot of power consumption now what happens whenever whenever you need to uh, turn on the device whenever you need to turn on the device see here it is vddv virtual supply virtual supply this is ground virtual what v gnd v this vddv and gnd v are the virtual supply lines which is uh, the logic circuit is connected is not directly connected to the supply and ground but it is connected to the virtual ground and virtu virtual supply and virtual ground lines uh, virtual ground lines now the actual supply line is connected to the uh, two transistors those two transistors are supplied with sleep control this sleep control is controlled by the um, uh, circuit which will uh, let this uh, trans let this circuit sleep whenever it is inactive whenever this is active there is a separate circuitry which will activate uh, which will supply these uh, signals sleep signals to both the supply line and the ground line transistors these two transistors will be activated to produce to provide power supply uh, virtual power supply to this actual circuitry low vt transistor circuitry whenever uh, the functionality is required from this circuit these two transistors are first made uh, active so that the supply voltage flows to this circuit and it will be in active mode while it is in active mode data is supplied and output is taken this is what is this approach now in this approach uh, by using the delay uh, by using this uh, approach you can uh, measure the delay of uh, uh, mtc mas circuit uh, with respect to supply voltage when the supply voltage is 0.5 volts the delay is very large as the supply voltage is increasing to 1 volt to 2 volt 1.5 2 volts what happened the delay line the delay line, the delay the delay has reduced the delay has reduced like this uh, with respect to supply voltage and the optimum point is uh, the 50 percent point is this because a 0 to 0.5 to 2 volts is measure uh, is uh, tested here here 1 volt is optimum uh, optimum where uh, uh, some good trade-off has been found so that is why 1 volt uh, vtc mass mtc mass circuits are used now the mtc mass gate delay is much smaller than that of a conventional CMOS gate delay with VT, with high VT. Uh, this is very good uh, idea. And MT CMOS gate delay time is reduced by 70% as compared to the conventional VT CMOS, con conventional CMOS. So this MT CMOS, because MT CMOS is this low threshold voltage, its delay is very less. That is, these circuits are very fast than the conventional CMOS circuits, which uses 5 volts power supply or so. Uh, this is normalized <coughs> power delay product versus supply voltage. This MTC in, in this uh, MTC mass, the power delay product is normalized. The normalized curve is shown here. Uh, power delay uh, power delay product. This power delay product of the MTC mass gate is much lower than that of the conventional high voltage gates. This is uh, very less. Uh, this is normalized power uh, delay product. This power delay product is 0 0.821 for a MTC mass circuit, which is very less compared to the uh, general circuits. So, the advantages of MT MTC mass circuits. MTC mass can be easily implemented using existing circuits without modifying the cell library. The same structure is uh, useful except only two transistors that are additionally has to be incorporated in your circuits now there are uh, of course this technique uh, technology is concept is very good and uh, this is very much useful in, in increase in reducing the delay and uh, reducing the power consumption as well but they have some uh, drawbacks these limitations and drawbacks are listed here only the standby power is reduced in this concept whenever the circuit is not useful the, the service from the circuit is not required you can make it sleep sleep mode that is called a standby mode so only that standby power is reduced other uh, rest of all the power consumptions are same large inserted sleep transistors increase both area and delay 
the large number of transistors in sleep are generally unnecessary unnecessary for good cost effective chip this is normally unnecessary so this is about mtc mass and vtc mass concept thank you